hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this video tutorial we will work on the lifetime of a fish so come here above and here we can simply create a variable so here we have this private int score so put a comma here and, and let's call this as life counter of fish so this is our integer type variable and now come down here and here we can say life counter of fish equals to zero and then we can say here inside our red x equals to red x minus speed and we have this uh, for the red ball okay here when hit ball checker it means that is when the fish eat the red ball or you can say when the fish hit the uh, the red ball then what we gonna do so here we can say life counter of fish decrement which is double minus okay put double minus which means uh, i mean this is the decrement so whenever the fish hit the red ball or eat the red ball then it will uh, do a decrement by one which means that one heart will be destroyed that is one life will be destroyed and then we can say if life counter of fish becomes equals to zero then we can write a toast message and which is toast dot mac text the context will be get context put a comma and then here we can say game over and this basically means that all the red horse uh, hearts if finished that is if the three lifetime of a finish of a fish is finished that is if it is equals to if the life counter of the fish is equals to zero then it means that the fish is died and uh, the user has to restart the game and play the game again if he wants or she wants so here we can say for the life counter we can say okay so here we can create a for loop int i equals to zero i less than three i plus plus and inside this for loop we can say int x equals to int So here we need to pass this, posi this position from the left side which is for the heart. So here we can say 580 comma life 0 dot get width. Sorry remove this comma from here we can add this plus sign which is the concatenation sign. And then we can say dot get width multiply with put this steric sign which means multiply 1.5 multiply i the semicolon int y equals to 30 then we can say if i less than life counter of fish and inside that you can copy this 580 okay this one and pass that line of code here and then we can write the else statement and pass that code here which is canvas.draw okay so remove this 580 from here instead of we can say x and remove this y from here instead of that we can say y and same here x and instead of 10 we can say y and now we don't need these three canvas.draw bitmap which is over three hertz okay so remove that one and yeah that's it so this one is for when uh, when the fish is live and when i mean when the three lifetimes are available for a fish and when the fish get a red ball or you can say eat the red ball then we will display the herd gray and we can you can simply write here life one so yeah that's also uh Cut this canvas to draw text and let's move it above. So control X and above here this for loop we can simply pass that here. You can see that okay. And since you we know that uh, 
the lifetime of a fish is 3 that is you have 3 hertz so here come here above and when we initialize this life counter of fish we have to initialize this with 3 okay and we need to create another activity so click here new and here we can activity empty activity and the name of our this activity will be game over activity so click finish and our new activity which is game over activity is launched successfully and now let's go back to our flying fish view java file and here uh, when we say for the red ball here when we say if life counter of fish equals to zero then we are basically we are displaying the text here so after this we can create an intent for sending the user to the game over activity and let's call this as game over intent equals to new intent press alt enter and import this intent class and here we can say get contacts comma and we are going to send the user to the game over activity so you can say game over activity dot class and by mistake I write in I write integer I wrote integer here so we can change it to intent okay this is our intent and then we can start the intent so you can say start activity but before writing that we are on the class so we can say get contacts get contacts dot start activity activity for the game over intent and also we need here to uh, a validation so we can say game over intent dot add flags intent dot flag activity new task and this pipe sign which is this one okay this one this is the pipe sign intent dot flag activity clear task for the semicolon here and yeah that's it and let's run the app to see what happens so our app is running now and now let's get this red ball to see what is happened you can see that one life is destroyed and now if I get the second one then you can see that the second life also destroy and now let's get the third one then you can see the game over and it send us to the game over activity so now in the next video tutorial we will work on the game over activity and on that activity we will ask the user to start the game again or he or she has a choice to close the game also so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and make sure to follow me on my facebook twitter and instagram account so that you can never miss any single update from coding cafe take care of yourself and bye for now